people the history, you know what I'm saying? Let them know where, where this all started from, from back in the days, like we was just talking about, you know, video music box days and all that. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, <clears throat> as of recently, we had just did um, the video music box uh, 35th anniversary. Yeah. Ooh, um, Coney tribute. Island, right? Yeah, Coney Island. It was dope. And um, that, that really brought back the nostalgia. But, um, you know, for a lot of people who don't know, you know, we, we're like the first rap group from Staten Island. You know, we came out in 91. We had a group called UMCs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was our first real, real stint in the game. Yeah. Um, you know, we were signed to the label, which which a whole bunch of your favorite artists were signed to as well. And, uh, you know, we, we, went for, we went for a ride on that label. You yeah. know what I mean? We came out with good records. We came out with dope records. And... Uh, I guess to them, they still didn't feel that it was, uh, you know, uh, the, the best thing to do to make sure that we were feeling good or we were, you know, supported the right way. Yeah. So our, our what we did just came on the strength of who we were and, you know, getting out there, running around, meeting people. Um, salute to Gangstar, um, Primo and Guru, because they're the ones who actually put us on. Mm. And, um, you know, coming from Staten Island, we, we're coming from... That that's that other borough, you know what I mean. Yeah. So we got on because we was running. We hit the streets running, you know what I mean. We would yeah. take that ferry boat. We would hit the city. We were running to everybody. Um, we would do videos. We would we would choreograph. We was into all of that, you know. You could catch me on New Jack City, the the, the movie, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, doing the dance moves and all of that. <laughs> so we was. We was into all of that. Sound Factory, all Red the Zone, all, yeah, man, yeah. the graph, all of that. So, um, you know, we, we, we got to where we, you know, needed to get to at that point in time. And, um, you know, after it just felt, you know, no good no more, we just had to pull away. You yeah. know, there was a couple of, you know, issues with the record labels, you know, a couple of issues with uh, management, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? A couple of issues with lawyers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we just, you know, we fell back just for a little bit. But um, in and, and, and turn, falling back, only allowed me to see a different path. So, of course, I was producing the first albums. Yeah. I was, me and my uh, my man, RNS, we were the producers of Fruits of Nature. That was the first album. We were the producers of um, the second album. That's big. So, I just felt like, you know, let me, let me, let me just go a different path. That's how I became producer for artists. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how my first beat was sold to Busta because as UMCs, we was on the road with Busta. Yeah, as UMCs, crazy, yeah. we was on the road with Naughty by Nature. Um, we was on the road with Onyx. We was on the road with, it was easy you know, for you all of that. And, yeah, yeah, man. Um, Wu-Tang, we all grew up on Staten Island. Mm. I said Wu-Tang in my records before Wu-Tang even came out. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? So... This alone is, this, there's a lot of history in this. Yeah. So for, you know, there's a lot of cats out there that think that, you know, some of these movements are just overnight, you know, success stories. Nah, you know, I'm talking about going to junior high school and having to come home and, and ghosts people is knocking on my door talking about, yo, let me borrow some sugar. Mm -hmm. And my mom is sending it down. And you know what I mean? We're Real running shit. through the jacks together. Yeah. But... You know, the thing with that was UMCs were their own people. Me and Cool Kim, we did our own thing while Wu was formulating. Yeah. So, you know, it, we gave drastic shout outs. Um, it was still all love. It man. was all love. Yeah. It's just that nobody wanted to be put in one particular area. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? We were our own kind of group. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you ain't going to hear us coming out on Triumph. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and but and they're not saying. coming out on blue cheese. Yeah, I know you understand exactly what I'm saying? Y'all had y'all flavor. And they yeah, had and they flavor. had their flavors. Yeah. And it was a whole sure bunch of that. different artists out there that was doing it like that. You That's know? what made hip-hop so dope back in the day. Oh, it was so diverse. Everybody's you know I mean? kind of copying now. Like, this not, is a, not, I'm not talking about you know the people trying to preserve the culture. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, you know, the, this... The they, cookie they, cutter. Yeah, it's the machine. Like, it's yeah, crazy. Nation. It's the machine. Yeah. First of all, back then, if we sound like anybody else, you're biting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You were totally That's biting, and there was no respect in that. Word. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I tell everybody, you know, you, you, you dealing with a, you dealing with a situation where you want to be the first to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because now you're a carbon copy. 
And you know where the carbon copies go. They get dumped into the garbage. Word. You understand what I'm saying? It's only the original Word. that gets put in a folder and tucked away. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. The carbon and get rid of this. I so, agree. you know, that's just how this is right now. But, um, you know, I still think there's a whole bunch of people out there that's still trying to, you know, set the game right. And, you know, at least do I agree. do what they can do, I you agree. know what I mean, to, to, to contribute and benefit some authentic, real, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I don't mean real by I'm just running up on heads and pulling out that thing and <laughs> blamping them and now I'm keeping it real. I'm talking about real nostalgic, real, you know, uh, uh worthy of 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 being heard you know what i mean yeah lessons messages substance, substance you know what i'm saying real so we could go back to after that i just started producing you know i hit buster i hit ghostface when he came home from the pen mm. i hit um 50 and little kim you know what i mean i have a question let him know let him know what bangers was, you hit that him. was um, don't be modest wow, wow, wow. Don't <laughs> I did I did I did a lot of work with all different uh members of the Woo. Yeah. So you can hit up different albums and you know you just yeah. shake the credits. You got yeah. Phantom of the Beat on there. All right, all right. So I'm already you yeah, already no, you already insinuated say, all I got it, all I need is you was, was one of them. I mean was um it? no um which that uh Ghost? Yeah. Nah, for Ghost I did Apollo Kids. Oh, oh. Oh, that's one of my favorite shit. I did, too. A, I did the first single for the new album. Bomb. I used to have that shit as a ringtone. You know what that is. Hell Come yeah. They're going to have to hold on to this Yo, one. Hold on, what up? Hold on, with the band Kai Allen. What's good? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Caller, what's good? Oh, we got callers on now? They Hell coming in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they ain't coming through, though. So, yeah, yeah so. You tried. The one thing that I always do tell people, though, and yeah. this is like a lesson a lesson for the up-and-comers or the ones who's, you know, moving. If you watch my track record, besides the the the, the mid-joints that I did, the first big joint was Buster. How do I jump on an album coming from UMC to produce on an album that did like 1.6 million with Janet Jackson on it? Wow. That's the first Crazy. record I did. Wow. Crazy. So to me, that was my that was my first intro into the game of you know producing for other artists. That's a okay. big intro. Second record was Apollo Kids for Ghostface. Yeah, that's big record, street record. That's one of my favorites. Street wow. record and it, it entailed Ghost and Ray. Yep. So now I got I got two big heads from Wu on one record. That's big. I got Buster Rhymes. For my first record, and I'm on a record with Janet Jackson. Mm. So now my next third big record becomes a record that didn't make the Aftermath album. Okay. You know what I mean? But um, Get Rich or Die Trying. But it ended up to be Little Kim's first okay. single for her La Bella Mafia album, wow. which she it. needed. You know what I mean? Same so right 50 there. and Kim. So that's three. One, two, three. So my shots are, those shots are, those are good shots. If I covered all angles, I covered all grounds. You understand what I'm saying? That's how I look at this. I say it's it's the race between the tortoise and the hare. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it like I covered one aspect, I covered another aspect, then I covered another aspect. Mm. So now... Everything I do from now should be Gucci, golden. You know, I can come any way I want to come, and nobody's going to put me in no box. Nobody's going to say, yo, yeah. hey, he's only supposed to be doing this, and he can't do that. He, I did it all. I did all three genres of this music game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So 